the content delivery networks are not mere uh, static content sometimes there is dynamic generation of content as well so a question arises uh, can we do anything about uh, dynamically assigning the functions of uh, the cdn by identifying the components there and distributing these across the physical servers and could we achieve some kind of acceleration in terms of uh, distribution and overall management let's start content delivery networks require uh, dynamically generated and static content sometimes this dynamically generated content is also personalized according to user profiles um, the main functions of modern web system are all incorporated there for instance there is a front end there is a back end then there is a database server now uh, a fundamental question arises could the delivery of uh, the content be improved while keeping the system scalable uh, how can we do that we can think about the replication of the functions of the multi tier web based system i have just mentioned a three tier uh, system in which we have the front end we have the back end and we have the database over the uh, nodes of cdn uh, cdn nodes can be thought of as the the origin server and the edge servers uh, these are the part of the overall web infrastructure physically speaking um these are involved in content delivery so if we think about uh, the replication of functions across these servers what can we do with regard to front end we can think about replication of front end layer uh, by considering the edge servers as surrogate servers which are only uh, replicating the content uh, such as the html pages which are generated by the uh, by the web server so now this is uh, nothing but a uh, uh, file system level replication then we can think about the replication of application layer replication of application layer actually is more like uh, an active engine replication uh, so we can we can think about uh, uh, the dynamic a uh, dynamically generated content that is being uh, uh, generated at the application layer if that has to be replicated we can think about it as edge computing because it moves the web application programs and the components on edge servers which are closer to the clients so here we are going to make use of our understanding of uh, the cloud uh, infrastructure where we had the platform as a service software as a service etc etc now this is essentially um, a very um, different way of looking at exactly the same thing then we can think about replication of uh, back end layer the back end layer is nothing but the database original database the original database is primarily responsible for the management of infrastructure and uh, it it hosts the the original or the master copy of the data so it means that the prim primary management is being overseen by the back end layer so if we want to replicate it means we can think about some kind of um so ser uh, origin server to origin server update then we can also think about the user uh, profile the user profiles are mostly personalized file content which is hosted in the um in the uh, original content server if it has to be replicated then edge servers can make use of uh, this user data uh, to provide a more personalized content in real time now let's look at it in three steps whatever we've discussed we can think about uh, all these as the logical layers of a web system where we have the clients talking to the front end layer which in turn interacts with the application layer the application layer is connected to the to the back end layer and the user profile layer the application layer is running dynamic applications and is generating the content which is at the front end layer we we've talked about replicating all of these one by one now the diagram in the middle is uh, the visualization of uh, what is the relationship between the core server and the 
uh, edge servers. The edge servers are the replication servers which provide replication facility to all these logical components. So it means we are now going to look at the translation or mapping of web uh, system logical layers on CDN infrastructure. We can see from the top, starting from the left hand side, we have the replication of front end layer, replication of application layer, back end layer, and user profile layers. Essentially, all the things or all the concepts that we've discussed visually being represented here. The reference is again by the same book, Content Delivery Networks by Rajkumar Bhaiya in 2008.